Hello and welcome to lesson three on Band Lab. We're carrying on with exactly what we've done in lesson one and two, which was drum sequencing and sampling. Today, I'm going to teach you how to chop up samples. I'm going to teach you what that means. I'm going to teach you how to make your samples sound a little bit different from everyone else's. If everyone's getting the same samples from the same sources, eventually what's going to happen is the music's going to sound very similar. I'm going to teach you how to actually start to add your own personality into the sampling process. So as like last lesson, we'll start with our drum machine. As like with last lesson, I'm going to give you a very quick introduction into I'm going to give you a quick introduction into uh, the samples that we're working with today. I'll show you the samples that we're working with today very quickly. Make sure everything's aligned right at the beginning. Uh, let's. Let's have three bars of A, one bar of B. I'm going to have to change the drums. I'll, I'll, I'll edit the drums inside. So first thing, let's um, this M button here on the left hand side mutes. So we're going to want to hear one sample at a time. So let's have a listen firstly to bells. So we're going to do work bells at 140 BPM. First thing you need to do is change band lab and then press don't adjust. Of course, here's my little looper at the top. Let's have a listen. <laughs> There's our bell sample. Uh, let's have a listen to string pads, 150. Again, don't adjust. Also, we can see here that the string pad is rather long, so I'm just gonna double up on drums. Let's have a listen. Okay, these drums need changing now. Um, as I change these drums, I just want you to watch, um, I'm, I want you to watch that I'm actually taking away. I'm just taking away and I'm going to add a snare and I'm going to double the snare with a clap. It instantly just sounds so much more better, so much more musical. And I've put, as you can see, like we did in the first lesson, I've put B as that bar. Um, I've put B for that little, the fourth bar, just a little turnaround bar to make things a little bit different. And again, I'm just going to take away for this B bar. I'm happy with that. Okay, so let's. Uh, so we look what string pads. We'll pause that and back to string pads. Let's have a listen. Cool. Very cool. Very interesting sample. Be very interested to see who uses this sample. And actually also just to make things different let's change the drums just for let's have a different drum we'll try and get a different drum uh let's get what's the glitch kit sound like okay i like the glitch kit and finally this uh this is a great sample uh 127 bpm so again i'm just matching heart guitar with uh band lab don't adjust and i'm muting the other track so let's have a listen to heart guitar this is a great sample Oops, that's the sequencer. That is a great sample. I really, I really look forward to hearing uh, what, uh, if someone doing some of that. Let me add just a, an effect to the drums. So now I've got a bit of echo. Excellent. So. So far, um, these are our three samples. Again, the task is going to be pick a sample and chop it up. I'm going to show you what that means right now. I'm going to use bells. I'm going to use bells. So I'm going to delete string pads, right click delete, heart guitar, delete. Let's quickly just get bells back into 140 BPM. 140, don't adjust.
Excellent. So, here is our bells. Now, chopping up a sample. What does it mean? This is an audio file. And what it means to chop up a sample is to actually slice up the transients. These waveforms here, these black waveforms you can see going up and down, these are what we call waveforms. Now, slicing up, I'm quite literally going to slice up the waveforms so that this audio file is in different grids I'll sh and I'll show you how we do this so one thing you need to know about using pro programs like BandLab the the key to really mastering these these programs are the shortcuts shortcuts are keyboard shortcuts using the mouse can take a long time to do things especially when you start to get good and familiar so i recommend start trying to teach yourself the muscle memory of using these shortcuts so you can slice up i'm going to show you um i'm going to show you how to slice up one way is um i'm going to be using the keys I'm going to be using the keys on the on the keypad, the uh, arrow keys up, down, left, right, on the right hand side of the keypad to move along. And then I'm going to right click and press slice. I'm going to show you this way, and then I'll show you the shortcut. So I'm going to go. Um, I'm going to go for every every half. One, two, three, four, slice. One, two, three, four. Whoops. One more slice. One, two, three, four, slice. One, two, three, four, slice. One, two, three, four. Right click, slice, one, two, three, four, slice, slice. Now, if I play it, you're not going to hear a difference at all. But what this means now is I can actually move, I can, I can swap around and, and change these bars. So let me, I'm going to show you a shortcut also to slice. And, and if you want to know the shortcuts, if you go up to the top here and press help, shortcuts, the shortcuts are all here. We are going to be using the S shortcut. If you just press S on your keypad, if you just press S, that is going to, sh if you just press S, that's, that will slice it automatically at the playhead. So this is our playhead. Wherever the playhead is, it's going to slice. So now if you see how quick it is, one, two, three, four, four, whoops, four, S, one. Uh, you, oh, you have to click on it, make sure it's selected. S, one, two, three, four. S one two three four S one two three four S one two. So that was a lot quicker than actually uh, having to uh, right click every time. So we have chopped up. This is what it means to chop up a sample. We've chopped the sample up. So now I'm going to take I'm going to take this sample away from my works. That this is currently this is kind of my workstation here, and this is almost my laboratory, if you will. I'm going to take this away from my workstation. Now, I'm going to introduce you to another shortcut that you're going to see me using a lot. And this shortcut is should be on here. Oh, it's not on here. That's fine. So this shortcut is how to copy something. Exactly like copy and paste. Many of you might already know uh, if you press uh, Control or Command, whichever you use, Command and C, uh, it will copy something. But if you press Alt, Hold. You want to hold Alt. Oh. Um, look at your keypad right now. If you find the space bar, two keys to the left is Alt. Two keys to the right should be Alt as well. I'm using a different keyboard. So Alt is an extremely useful shortcut. And I'll show you. If I click on this, it's going to allow me to drag it. If I hold Alt, so I'm pressing and holding Alt now, I can click and drag it away. So I can keep the integrity of the, uh, of this initial bar here, which is going to which can be very helpful. So this is a shortcut you're going to see me using a lot. So let's have a listen, see what I can do with this sample. Okay, I quite like this, these first two bars actually. I'm just going to copy these first two bars. Alt, I'm going to bring them in. I'm going to, and actually, I'm going to copy them again. Okay, um, and now actually, what I'm going to do is I'm going to slice. I'm going to I'm going to slice it up even more. So if you if you see this, there's this button here, or this. I'm not pressing anything. It's got a, almost like a, a bar with an arrow pointing to the left. If I and you should see now, this line comes up with these two arrows. If I click this, this allows me 
to shorten or re re restore the original um, cut. I'm actually going to I'm actually going to half this and duplicate it. Okay, I like that. Actually, in fact, I'm going to do it again. Excellent. So you should be able to see what I'm doing here. I'm just, I'm. this is what it means to chop up a sample. Now I'm making it smaller. You can stretch it and I'm adding it in. Uh, and let me add, I'm going get, to get that again. Just get that second half of that sample. Let's see how this sounds. And I'm making sure that everything is gridded. Everything, if you zoom in, everything is perfectly gridded. Nice. Okay, so you can hear that I I, 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 I chopped up the beginning of this and I duplicated it. And actually, all I'm using so far is these first two bars. All I've used so far is these first two bars. All I've used is these first two bars. Let's have a listen to the rest of it. Okay, I, um, I quite like uh, I'm, I quite like these these bars here, so I'm gonna I'm just gonna drag those straight in, and so we'll loop this one again, and we'll take this last bar, copy it. And double it again. Let's have a listen. So let's have a listen to this. Okay. We've got some stuff here. This is sounding okay. Let me let me see if I can actually divide this bar again. This last bar here. It's quite short. So I've zoomed in. Again, I'm going to half it. And everything is gridlocked. E whoops. Everything is. Whoops. Everything is to the grid. There's nothing that is out of the grid. And I'm just pressing Alt and I'm copying it again. So this is an example of what it means to chop up a sample, to, to slice at the audio and then to put it in different, um, you can you can mismatch it. Also, um, for example, what I could do, let me open up a new track. Uh, let me take, so this is this is my original template. It's gonna allow me to drag it, no, that's fine, I'll keep it here. I'm gonna open up a new track. Uh, actually, will it allow me to duplicate the track? Yes, it will. Excellent. So here, I'm just going to right click, duplicate it. I'm going to show you an alter alternative idea, one that might be maybe a bit simpler. Um, so I'm going to mute this for now and let me delete this. So over here, this is our original sample. Whoops. This is the original sample. You could do something like this. I'm now going to put it back to front. I'm going to just slot it in back to front. Oh, bad practice. I should have. Good practice is I should have. Hopefully someone spotted it. I should have copied it all using the alt shortcut. Why? Because it makes it easy because I can go, always go back to it. If you copy, if you, um, if you move all of your, if you move all of your bars, then you have to manually go back and change it. So let me let me um, bring it nice and close, and I'm just going to hold Alt, 
I'm holding alt the entire time. My finger is on alt. And I've literally, I've sliced up the bars and I've put them back to front. It very well may sound terrible, but there might be one good idea here uh, that there is, there might be one good idea here that is worth invest in investing in. Right, let's have a listen. Okay, ban I may have pushed ban lab a little bit too far because it's not sounding all in time. Okay, ban labs ban labs almost calibrated itself. It's taken a few playthroughs. There we go. So if your band lab ever does slow down or not sound in time, it might just need to play through a little bit. I quite like I really I like I really like these first four bars. In fact, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna I'm just gonna alternate these four I'm just gonna copy these four first four bars again. I quite like that. So yeah, if band lab is running a little bit slow, you might hear it out of time, but if you're just patient with it. That's a verse. That's a verse. And hopefully you can hear that little bit at the end of my bar B. It just makes it just switches it up a little bit and makes it different for the listener. Excellent. So your task is going to be I want you to go into Band Lab, click on the assignment. It's going to be assignment number three, chopping up samples. After you've clicked on the Thank you, sequencer. After you've clicked on the assignment, I want you to click on teacher's assignment. After you click on teacher's assignment, on the right hand side, you should have something open here on your screen. It should say uh, assignment brief. On the right hand side, it should say attachments. Click on attachments and you're gonna find the free samples. Heart guitar, string pads, bells. I used bells today just to demo bells. Pick one of the free samples. After you pick it, I want you to put it in and chop it up. And exactly like I did, when you're dragging these samples in, let me just drag a sample in one more time very quickly. I'll drag heart guitar in very quickly. Very quickly, just before I end this video, let me just delete this. Again, first things first, I have to calibrate heart guitar with my drums because heart guitar is 127 BPM. So I have to double click, one, two, seven, don't adjust. Remember, always hit don't adjust. Alt, I'm pressing Alt again. I've just selected all of those drums and I've copied them. Here's my loop. This is a great sample. I really hope someone uses this sample. This is a great sample. Now again, just to remind you all, just to remind you all how to, to, to top up, if I use the mouse, sorry, if I use the keyboard, the keypad, you should see the arrows are going left and right. And I'm going to use S. So you could you could slice it every bar. Oh, make sure you, you're clicking here as well. I could slice it every bar. Or you could you could even slice every two beats. That's all up to you. So I want you to pick one of the samples, even if it's the, if it's if it's um if it's bells, give me eight bars. The other two samples are eight bars. I want you to chop up the sample and add your own drum to it. Make sure the sample's chopped up. And I want to see your original sample to the right as well when you submit the work. Excellent. Very well done. <laughs> 